Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Even though I call this channel Hot Rod Hoarder, uh, we do sell some things from time to time and I wanted to give you a quick update on some things that we have bought and sold and traded on in the last few weeks. So the first thing I'm going to cover is the 84 Camaro Z28. Uh, this was my daily driver for a few months. Uh, I did a video on it a while back and it got some really good response. I did change the Trans Am wheels off of it. I got a lot of people saying that that didn't really fit the car, but it was just one of those things where that's what I had laying around. I ended up buying a set of Riddler five-spoke wheels that really set the car off. The gray centers looked really good with the gray paint on the bottom of the car. That was good. It actually helped sell the car, I believe, because you know otherwise the Trans Am wheels just didn't really give it the right look. So. The good news about that is that I didn't mess up those Trans Am wheels by painting the centers or doing anything extravagant and I was able to sell those and get what I consider to be top dollar out of them. So now that the Camaro has gone to a new owner, I bought another daily driver, a 2000 model Chevrolet S10, just a little four cylinder automatic truck that I can beat around in. It's, it's definitely not pristine or anything like that, but I can get some good use out of it. Another new addition over at my dad's shop is a 56 Ford. It's a two-door post. This thing is surprisingly good as far as driving down the road. I mean, everything works on it. All the gauges, everything works like it should, and it runs good, too. It's got a, a pretty healthy 351 Cleveland. Um, you know, I don't know a whole lot about the motor. I do know that it's fresh and that it starts right up, hits a pretty good lick, and uh, runs good down the road. You can tell on the body of this car that it's not pristine, uh, but it does look good. It's got the right stance. It's got red steel wheels with dog dish caps, and uh, you know it kind of fits our style. But this is not a keeper. This is a car that we bought with intentions of using it as trading material, and we did just that. We bought it, and just a couple weeks later, we ended up trading it, uh, trading around, uh, got some boot on a Pontiac Solstice. I know that doesn't really match our channel, or anything like that but it's good trading material and will come out good on this deal. One vehicle that I didn't go in partners on with my dad was this square body Chevrolet truck. This is like a mid 80s model. It's got a fresh motor, four speed transmission. The tires and stuff are dry rotted. You know it does need some work. It's got some rust issues but it's a very good truck. Short wheelbase fleet side four wheel drive is really hard to find and my dad will get it patched up, get the rust fixed on it, maybe even put a paint job on it, um, but he does intend to hang on to this thing. Definitely something good to have around the shop. In the parts department, we've done a lot of buying and selling and trading. Uh, the first thing on the list is a set of magnesium wheels. I had mentioned in a previous episode that I sold Todd Odin two pairs of 15 by 4 inch Americans, and that's kind of where this comes into play. I bought this complete set, 15 by 4s, and 16 by 10s and the rears are just in amazing shape they've got m and h slicks on them since we sold the front wheels we're not in a big hurry to sell the rears you know it kind of puts us in pretty good shape on them i also sold a pair of 15 by 4 inch motor wheel fly front runners it's not like they were taking up space but just found the right buyer that was going to put them to use so we made sense of getting rid of them we also heard about an old Hemi engine that was for sale, and it was kind of unknown as far as the displacement, the year, make, model, all that kind of stuff. We just knew it was old, and it was a complete engine, so it was worth going to take a look at. We ended up going to the guy's shop, bought the engine, and it turned out to be a 1955 Dodge Hemi engine. It's only 270 cubic inches, really tiny cubic inch engine, uh, but it still has that really cool vintage Hemi look. So we went ahead and bought it. We can probably put this thing to use on a, one of our dragsters or something, or we might end up selling it. You know, it's not worth a whole lot of money, but you know, it's a neat piece to have around the shop. While we were there, we noticed a 1937 Plymouth front end that the guy had back behind his shop. Uh, we ended up buying the grill, the grill insert, the hood and hood sides, and uh, that also included like the headlight buckets. It's a really neat piece. It'd be cool to hang on the the shop wall or something like that we just couldn't pass it up 
but we ended up selling it to a local guy who's restoring a 1937 Plymouth, so that worked out pretty good. Also included on that deal was a mini bike. This thing's got the perfect vintage look. It's got an old Tecumseh engine that uh, I'll probably replace with a Harbor Freight Special and get this thing running again, maybe get some new tires and brakes and all that kind of stuff freshened up on it so that we can get some use out of it. That's pretty much it for this inventory update. I just want to let you guys know about some of the projects that we buy and sell and trade on. Even though our name's Hot Rod Hoarder, we do get rid of some of this stuff. We just don't have the space to keep it all. So, you know, we got to keep things moving. That also generates a little bit of cash flow that, so we can afford some of these other things that, you know, we hang on to forever. So, uh, just wanted to give you kind of an inside look at some of the inventory changes that have happened here in the last couple of months. And uh, just stay tuned for a new video every Friday. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. We'll see you next week.